Welcome to the fourth episode of Hot 5 and 5. I'll be your host of the week, Charlie CRS. Hot 5 and 5 is the best source for the five's latest and greatest gaming stories of the week in five minutes or less. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The 2 terabyte version of the Xbox One S finally has a release date. On August 2nd, Microsoft will finally start selling the latest version of their home console. The system will cost $400 with the 1 terabyte and 500 gigabyte versions that are to be released in December, costing $350 and $300. The Xbox One S will feature an internal power supply, HDR, a 40% smaller size, and a slightly updated controller. Microsoft has also announced that they will release an upgraded Xbox codenamed Project Scorpio during the holiday season of 2017. They have stated it is, quote unquote, the most powerful console ever made. EVO 2016, the biggest fighting game tournament of the year has come and gone, giving the world its new champions for their respective games. In Street Fighter V, we have Infiltration playing as Dash. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, we have Hungrybox, of course, wielding legendary Jigglypuff. With Guilty Gear 3rd Revelator, Machibo, using Sing Kiss, came out on top. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 brought us NY Chris G with his team of Morgan, Doctor Doom, and Virgil. Then in Mortal Kombat XL, Sonic Fox used Acidic Alien, Gunslinger, Aaron Black, and Hollywood Cassie Cage to bring himself to victory. Killer Instinct's champion was none other than Hollywood Sleep using Arbiter and Gargos. Also in Pokemon Tournament, Torasama came out on top with Bryxon. In Super Smash Bros. Wii, you Alley took the gold using Mario. And finally, in Texan 7 Faded Retribution, the winner was Saint with Jack 7. With Blizzard's tease of the new Overwatch hero, Anna, being already several weeks old, the Healing Sniper finally takes stand on the playing field. As of July 19th, Anna was rolled out onto the live servers for players everywhere to finally get their hands on. While Blizzard strives to make the game as balanced as possible, it is hard to fully find a hero's strengths and weaknesses until placed into the game with players of all skill levels. That being said, she is considered one of, if not the best supports as of right now, as she is a great healer all around as well as a decent damage dealer on the side. Her only true balance right now is that she takes quite a bit of skill to play, which might be what Blizzard was simply aiming for, high reward for high skill players. Either way, she is sure to be tweaked in the upcoming patches to find a good medium for players of all skill levels alike. To continue the CSGO gambling scandals, many Counter-Strike journalists, including Richard Lewis, are releasing stories regarding the latest gaming organization, FaZe, being involved in possibly owning one of the largest CSGO gambling websites. This could be a problem, looking back at the scandal with Syndicate. Wild, as a company, released a statement seeming to be written by the owner, who stated, quote unquote, I didn't think I'd be making a public statement about the relationship between CSGO Wild and FaZe, but after consistent posts filled with untrue accusations and speculation, I figured it was time to tell the tale. Also including other information regarding his friendship with FaZe Banks, the owner of FaZe, and sponsorships that were given out to the successful YouTubers that are a part of his organization. If you're a fan of Overwatch, then you'll be happy to hear that Blizzard and Dark Horse have partnered up to make a 100-page graphic novel. Although the creative team hasn't revealed any story on the graphic novel yet, they did confirm that it will focus on the original Overwatch Strike Team. The graphic novel is set to release in April 2017 sometime. Dark Horse will then follow up that release with the art of Overwatch that features unreleased concept art, and that will be released summer 2017. Dark Horse Comics is known for vending comics, but a few notable ones are Star Wars, Avatar The Last Airbender, Sin City, Aliens, and Predator. Dark Horse Entertainment has made movies based off the comics like Alien vs Predator and Hellboy, so it is possible that in the future an Overwatch movie will be made. Nintendo's second party game Pokemon Go is still continuing to make headlines as the game helped Nintendo break stock market records for the biggest daily turnover in the Tokyo Stock Price Index. This is due to Nintendo trading the equivalent of $4.5 billion, which breaks the record set by Tokyo Electric. That's it for this week's news, we would like to mention that we will be posting news daily on our official Twitter starting today, so feel free to head over there and follow if you're not already. As always, leaving a rating down below is very appreciated, along with any sort of feedback in the comments section. If you missed last week's news, click now to check it out. News episodes are released every Friday, so make sure to subscribe and check back next week for more info on recent news. This is Charles Zero signing off, peace.